So I've done plenty of videos at the moment on microphones, but what's one thing that you need in order to hear what you've recorded? Some speakers! Hi everyone, welcome to IoT X is on Tag. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you haven't done so already, then please hit that subscribe button. So, as I mentioned just a few moments ago, I've recorded a fair few videos recently on microphones, but one thing you do need to be able to listen back to what you've recorded is either a decent pair of headphones or a really good pair of speakers. So these are the Mordant Short M20 two-way bass ported speakers. So these are my housemates. He's uh, graciously lent me these to unbox them and hook them up to where my current mission M71Is are. Well, they're two-way speakers as well. These are two-way speakers. So let's see what we get in the box. So these were bought off Amazon and they were hundred pounds, well, 99 pound, uh, direct from Mordant Shorts. So these are bookshelf speakers. They will need an amplifier uh, in order to get some sound out of them. Now, a good thing with these, they come with some instructions on the little flap by there. So you open them, tip them on the side, tip them at the bottom, then take off all the polystyrene. So let's do that. See, it's well packaged in there. Oh, done that around already, haven't I? That needs to go that away. And then we go, Ooh. Off with its head. Put that over there. So you've got all the polystyrene. So I've already opened one pair of these because these are going to be hooked up to a Denon AVR3805 AV receiver. It hasn't got any HDMI, but it does have seven optical inputs. But that's a story for another video. So these are in black and they've got a really nice finish to them. There we go, very nice. Can you see them up there? Yes, there we go. They have a removable front grille, as with most speakers do. There you go, nice mesh with the Mordant Short logo on the bottom. Here we have your little dome tweeter and your subwoofer and of course your little bass port at the bottom. It's quite hard to see that, I should imagine, because they're black. Um, but according to Mordant Short's website, the tweeter has a little cut out there, so it makes it closer to the bass driver. So with the tweeter and the bass driver being close together, it gives one focal point uh, for your sounds to come from. These are rated at 80 watts. You can either have them connected via banana plugs or normal just bare cable. Uh, you've got your plus and your minus on the back. The impedance is eight ohms. So there's the one speaker. So I'm gonna disconnect my Mission M71Is and I'm gonna hook these up to my Kenwood amp that's underneath the desk here that I uh, play my music through in my uh, video editing. I'm going to play one track off uh, the YouTube audio library called Arm Candy. I'm going to record it with my Uhuru microphone by there at one meter distance at one hand height off the desk. <laughs> so I've already recorded that through the missions. So let's hook these up and we'll play some music and see what the difference is like. Okay, so there we go. They're all wired up. So I've got obviously the right speaker and the left speaker. Now, what I do when I wire up my speakers, you know you've got um, the cable, it might be clear and it has writing on it. I always put the, the strands of wire with the writing on it to the black, to the negative, and then on the negative on my amp. For some people they do it, you know, if it's got the writing on it or the black line going down the, the, that side of the cable, they sometimes put it to the plus. Me personally, I do it to, to the minus. I also recommend in investing in some banana plugs. If you don't know what they are, then Google them, okay? They'll, be, they'll plug directly into the back of the speakers. It'll make your connection a bit easier rather than fiddling with the uh, unwinding of, of the nut and then putting your cable through and then threading it down. It's very easy with banana plugs. So I'm gonna have a little listen. I'll do a little mic test and uh, back in a moment.
Hmm. So what do you think? Which ones do you prefer? The Mission or the Mordant Shorts? So of course these are brand spanking new, just taking them out of the box, so they are going to need some running in. What's running in? So when a speaker is manufactured, it's got the cone, it's got the rubber around the edge, the diaphragm, the magnetic coil, etc. So the speakers are brand spanking new, so that's all going to be stiff. So you need to run them, ideally, you need to run them in for several hours or even a couple of days, some people say, with some proper audio files. So that allows the bass cone to move and soften up a bit. And that should hopefully then give it a warmer sound. But overall, these sound good. I wouldn't say they're the best speakers in the world. So the bass port is on the front. It's directed at my ears, along with obviously the tweeter and uh, the bass cone. Now my speakers, the mission ones, I've had those, god blimey, must have been, must be over 15 years maybe. So they are well worn in. <laughs> so they do have that nice warmth sound. The bass cone uh, has been loosened up over several years. The tweeter, yeah, I do have an issue with one of my tweeters on my speakers, but would I recommend these speakers? Yes, I think I will recommend these speakers because one, the price, two, the looks. They've got a front firing base ports. So that is good if you are going to put them on speakers, for example. Would you? Would I use them in a home cinema setup? Probably after I've run them in for a few days to loosen up that base cone, so it does give much better base. Now I'm filming in the bedroom. I do have curtains. There's a bed next to me, so I'm not getting that many sound reflections either. So. That's it for today's video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If not, give us a thumbs down, but leave in the description why. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to buy these speakers, then hit the link in the video description below. I thank you very much for watching today's episode of IoT Exist on Tech. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.